Hello YouTube, DJ Tires here with a quick video on how to broadcast your mixes online with Tractor Pro and Tractor Scratch Pro. Now as you can see we are in Tractor Scratch Pro but the functionality is exact same in Tractor Pro. First thing to note is where the broadcast function is. You see the FX2 usually by default here on the right side of the UI. Right below that there's a little picture of a, a tape. If you click that you're going to see a record button and a broadcast button. So this is exactly where we want to be. And next thing you're going to have to do is download Icecast which is a server, uh, audio server. And it's free to download and I'll have the link in the side. What you're going to need to do first is go into configuration and edit your configuration. You're going to want to change your password, which I have not done, but you're going to want to change your password so people can't just walk right into your audio server. Uh, I have changed my port. I was having problems with 8000, so I changed it to 8001. I haven't had a problem since. And that's about it. And save that out. And now you can go to start server. And you can see that it's running green, so our server is running happily. We can go into our preferences in Tractor, and we want to come down to broadcasting. In this case, I'm using a direct connection because it's connecting to my own PC, but if you're connecting to another website and need to use a proxy, this is how you would do that. The server settings, this is my internet IP address here. I have had to enter this manually. And of course, the port I've set. The mount path can be called anything you want. It doesn't actually matter. The password that you've created in the Icecast server, and you can just change your format to a better uh, sound quality if your internet connection can handle it. Now down here, you're gonna want to enter all this stuff in manually, and this is gonna be your link that you're gonna give your friends and your fans and whoever might be listening. And then you have your stream name, stream description, and your genre. You have to enter all this in manual again, but this is what shows up in the MP3 player so that people know, one, who's DJing, two, what they're listening to, and three, where they can come back later to listen if they enjoyed whatever it was you were mixing. Okay, so once we have all this set up, we click close, and all you have to do is click this little broadcast button. If it's solid, you know you're connected. If it's flashing, it means you have a connection problem. This could be caused by a few things. One of them is your router. So let's go ahead into our router and just make sure, and I know I've already done this, but we can go in and make sure to open up those ports to our computer. If you don't know your computer's IP address on your network, you can just go into um, the start here in the search type in cmd and just press enter and you'll get the old DOS command prompt type IP config and just scroll up until you see this list of information and from here we can see that the IPv4 address for this computer is 192.168.0.100 and so you can see I've entered that in to Tractor for port 8001 and also 8000 uh, for virtual DJ which is the same system so we'll just minimize that so we know it's working we know we're connected now if we want to make sure that we're running before we go and start releasing our link to everybody what we can do is just press play on a song now you won't hear this because I don't have my external sound card set up as an extra or it's an extra recording source but we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll just fire this one up and if we go in here and put our our uh, link to our own setup, it'll actually load its own little MP3 flash MP3 player. And if you see the numbers start counting, you hear basically double audio. You know you're up and running, so you're all good. You're setting up, or you're set up. You can send this to all your friends, all your fans, whatever. If you have any questions, comments, just post them below. And I guess I'll see you guys later.